Hello everyone, my name is Margo Kamaya. You're watching my uh, channel, youtube.com slash Margo Kamaya. So for today's, for today's episode of my vlog, I'll be talking about one of, well, one of my greatest finds. So I, I always have like one of my greatest finds, but I have a list of them. I think all of my books are greatest finds. But uh, this one, it has inspired me a lot. And I highly recommend, you know, if you're a book lover, if you're a reader or a lover of literature, this book by DK, I highly recommend for you to have, right? Um, so this is the literature book, Big Ideas Simply Explained. It's part of a series by DK Books. They came out with uh, a lot of topics you can buy this so i bought this in one of the local bookstores here in in the philippines it's called fully booked at the time i think it was like less than 1000 pesos so that was about 20 dollars but now it's uh, about 100 or 200 more um if you go to fully book you can also buy it online in in amazon i've seen a copy in in amazon all right so what i love about this book it actually inspired me to write a, a, a blog post. So I also have a, a, a blog. It's called uh, thevisualtraveler.net. And I wrote an article uh, particularly about 21 writers and poets who died tragically. So I think my, my light is... Uh, so I, that's the photo. So I wrote... Um, so going through the, the book, I noticed that there was a, a, a common theme going, going through you know, in terms of the writers and the authors. So I, I saw or read about 21 writers who were mentioned in the literature book who died young and, and tragically. So by accident, uh, by suicide, by uh, illness. So it's it's kind of sad, especially if those authors are your favorites or you read their their books. So why is it that I recommend this, the literature book by DK? Uh, one thing is that it's it has a global theme. It's not just constant focus on American writers or British writers, but it it, it has a global theme. It it lists down south american writers it has asian writers in it uh it also have other european writers okay so those books that resonated with the readers or the greater population so just to give you an example okay so i am using my notes no my blog notes as a marker so let's go to shakespeare the all-time playwright and and writer Shakespeare. So this, so Shakespeare has several pages dedicated to him. If you go through the book, okay, it has a section on context, meaning in that particular time and period, what was the world according to the author, and then it writes a little about the background of the story, okay what could have particularly uh, inspired you know, the writer and then there is a short bio um, it also has uh, a synopsis of the plot it discusses the major themes of the plot and character analysis another nice thing about uh, the book is that it lists down contemporary interpretation so when we say contemporary interpretation that would be either film theater uh, or television and and even actually radio broad broadcasts right so we have of course shakespeare uh, it's divided into um periods so what are the periods we have let's say uh, let me just go through the table of contents. So you have heroes and legends. That's about 3000 BC to 1300 CE. You have Renaissance to Enlightenment. That's 1300s to the 1800s. After which is one of, I think, the prolific uh, era in, in literary um, aspects. The Romanticism and the rise of the novel. 
1800s and 1855, you're talking about um, Faust by Johann Wolfgang von Goth. You also have the Brothers Grimm. You have Jane Austen. Who else? You have Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein. You have Alexander Pushkin, who, who's also part of my 21 authors who died tragically. Charlotte Bronte. You have Herman Melville. Charles Dickens. So, very prolific. And I think that's right. It's the rise of the popular novels. After um, the Romanticism, you have Depicting Real Life, so 1855 to 1900. More, I think, realistic in terms of the themes, in terms of discussing the environment, you know, the surroundings around that particular character. And after which we have Breaking with the Tra Breaking with Tradition, 1900s to 1945. You're talking about Arthur Conan Doyle, uh, Franz Kafka. You have T. S. Eliot, James Joyce, Khalil Gibran, you know, the Prophet, and finally we have The Little Prince, no, by Anton D. Saint Exupéry. So I, I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Uh, it's, it's a French name. Then after which you have the post-war writing from 1945 to 1970. You have here Harper Lee, To Kill a Mockingbird, Catch-22 by Joseph uh, Heller, and of course 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Um, I read that Netflix is coming up with a series. No? Uh, hopefully it, it would do justice to Gabriel Garcia's uh, Marquez uh, opus work and then finally the last period is contemporary uh, literature 1970s to the present and then for each so, so for each episode or, uh, or period they have a featured author or writer or even a poet and then they also at the end they also dedicate uh, a section on further reading so it has suggested readings of of more books and, and authors right yes if you're asking jk rowling it's just under further reading uh, she's not she's not like uh, one of the main features no? but she's very influential her books are very influential so again <laughs> if you are interested if uh, i hope i pique your interest go out go to your local bookstore or go online and purchase the literature book by DK Books part of the big idea simply explained this book is about you know what it, it's it's been with me for two years already and it's it's one of my best love books so thank you again for watching I hope you like uh, this episode subscribe to my channel you know if you have any comments you know to inspire me to come up with more episodes about literature, reading, and, and books in general. So thank you everyone for watching. See you soon.